This is Bob Diamond, America's tax sale attorney, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about owning a family business. So I own a family business. About at this point, 12 years ago, my brother Ed came into business that I had, which was doing real estate investment and real estate investment education, and we set off in the business together. I love having my brother in business because he's someone that I can trust. He's a very smart guy. He stands on his own. He's an MBA. I was the CEO of a large software company, 180 people. So he's a very, very smart and bright guy. But that being said, Ed and I fight like cats and dogs from time to time. And you know, it can be sort of overwhelming to be in business with a person that you also are a relative with because you know, when you have Thanksgiving and Christmas and things like that, you know, as my wife says, you guys always end up talking about the business. And yeah, it's true. That's something we have in common. And I guess maybe it's no different than you know if people are baseball fans or football fans and two brothers and that's what they end up talking about at the family dinner, their wives probably complain about that. So I would say overall it's great. We make great money in our business, especially in our overages business. It's really terrific cash generator and it is fun to have my own success be shared and be also my brother's success because we share it 50-50. So it's both of our successes. So I don't have to feel sort of funny at a family dinner bragging about, oh, we're doing great, you know, just went on a nice vacation, you know, the kids are blah, blah, blah. It's, we don't need to do that because we're both making the same money so we can celebrate together. So I really do like that. But what I would say if you're thinking about a family business, I think you really only want to be in business with your family members if they stand on their own and bring something to the table. You, know, you don't want to just bring someone in because they don't have a job and they're, they're not capable of having a job. I don't think that's that's productive for anybody. I think that when you have a family member in the business, it's almost impossible to fire them. So you got to think about that when you're bringing someone in. And you want someone who really is equally dedicated to the business as you. Where I've seen a lot of, of people dispute and, and get into arguments as partners is when both aren't working as hard. You know, one partner starts making a little money and they decide that you know, in the middle of the day they should go and you know go to yoga class from 12 to 3 and then it's time to pick up their kids, so they're really only working from nine to 12. You know, that's, that's not gonna fly with the person who might be working, you know, nine to five or nine to six, or even, you know, virtually every day of the week all the time. It, it doesn't work, so you really have to think about that and make sure you're dealing with someone that has a work ethic like yours and truly brings the same kind of value that you bring. This is not just a, I feel sorry for you, full employment thing. If you have a feel sorry for you, full employment thing, help someone get some job training, throw them a few dollars if you're making money to start their own business, but don't let them in your business. That's, that's not a good idea. If they're good and stand on their own like my brother does, I think it's great. You can have a great business and a great life, but if they don't, don't do that. But I think overall the positives certainly far outweigh the negatives for me. I can trust my brother to get his part of the business done. I can trust that things won't get stolen and I can trust there's a lot of commitment. So we've been successful and I guess now we've been in business, it's, it's actually 14 years together. Wow. I just thought about that, 14 years. And we do well, and we'll be in this business together till we both retire. It's been really good. So I would suggest having a family business is great, as long as you have someone that can, that can carry their own weight and bring you forward. If not, probably not the thing to do. If you like this video and you found it insightful or interesting, be sure to like and to subscribe for more, and I'll be sharing more of my business insights, my thoughts on life, and my thoughts about how you can be successful in the current economic times. There's lots of success to be had, by the way, so don't think there's not. There's lots of success, lots of opportunity. There always is. And in times of turbulence, it can be even more opportunity than usual. So don't be scared, get proactive, and educate yourself. And if you like this, again, like and subscribe for more, and I'll be happy to share more high value tips and insights with you. This is Bob Diamond wishing you a great and profitable and happy day.